Hey guys, Magnus Robber here, bringing you another video, and of course, today I'm going to be announcing the 7th Annual Simpsons Tapped Out Awards. That's correct. We have reached 7 years on this little series that, uh, obviously back in the day, me, Ted2001, Nuclear Videos HD, and Lork and the Hedgehog all created together, and um, it's been amazing that we've reached this sort of landmark. I'm hoping we get to 10 years because i got something special for the 10 year anniversary. But anyway, I digress. The seventh one is now open. Obviously, link is down below. I'm just going to be going through it today. But uh, if, you've, if you're have if you familiar with the awards, then you may as well just click the link and uh, go vote. So, obviously, please read this. So, hello and welcome to the seventh annual Simpsons Tapped Out Awards. This Google form is used to pick winners and losers in the various categories. You need a Gmail account in order to vote. Emails are not recorded. This measure is to prevent people from voting more than once. You must vote on every single category. If your favorite slash least favorite character, building or costume is absent from the lineup, then please just pick your favorite slash least favorite out of the selection provided. The best slash worst buildings, characters and costumes were all in part decided by the Simpsons Tapped Out Award Committee. And I just have to say, the guys that who over at the committee, the people who've actually dedicated some time to sort of evaluating all the different items of this year's um, selection, all of them deserve a round of, the round of applause. They've all been great. They've all put up with all my acts and, uh, you know, my, my time constraints and all that, especially with the uh, awards coming up. I've had to sort of dial it up to 11 and, I'm, you know, I've been atting people like, you have to, we have to evaluate all this Frank uh, Thanksgiving stuff. So, honestly, huge shout out to uh, all the award committee guys. Uh, I'll definitely be giving a shout out to everyone who was on the committee this year. Uh, sometime when we announce the awards, I'm going to, yeah, go through all of them and give them all a, a big pat on the back. Um, yeah, so obviously the uh, they were all picked in part by those guys, and the contenders were then the contenders were then slimmed further down by the judges. So the judges for this year's awards are Magnus Robert, myself obviously, Lorcan the Hedgehog, Elo Arthur, and Bort Plays, who is our newest judge this year. Uh, hopefully, like last year, there will be some special guests to present winners of the awards. I'm hoping to maybe get. Um, you know, I'm hoping to get one at least. Maybe Ted. I'm, I'm sure Ted will do it. The events covered in this year's awards are from last year's Holiday Who Done It, all the way to the recent Atom Smasher slash Black Friday update. Uh, voting is now open and will cease on the 21st of December, uh, probably around 12 GMT. I probably should add that in. Uh, this gives you just under a month to vote. The results will be released in all. Uh, sorry, in a four-part video series posted on all four of the judges' YouTube channels. Uh, the first part will be hosted by Lorcan the Hedgehog's channel. So, please have fun and get voting. So, yeah. So, let's get into the categories. So, obviously, we've got Best Major Event. This is... The reason why it's called Best Major Event instead of Best Multi-Event is... Uh, I, I Obviously, there was that one year where we had both a multi-event and a major event uh, with the Christmas one. So, I, I like to just call it Best Major Event just because it's... It, um, it um, what's the what's the term? It's just it's just all encompassing. It's like an umbrella term for both multi events and you know a classic major events. So obviously this is uh, holiday who done it, Cirque de Springfield, Hell on Wheels, Dog Days, Showbiz Showdown, and Trio Sahara X X X X I I I. Uh, so yeah, that's the first category. Next one is best mini event. So we got Red Alert, Hot Diggity Doe, When the Bow Breaks, Splash and Burns, Tragic Magic, and the Atom Smasher. Then we got best mini event, so sorry, best minor event. Uh, these are just events that don't really, you know, they tend to play alongside either a mini or a major. And so for this, we've got the Shattered Dreams Mystery Box, which I'm counting as a sort of new addition, so I figured I'd count it as a minor event. The 10th year anniversary mini event, or minor event, sorry, and the Black Friday 2022. Uh, best episode tie-in, so this is all the stuff from the season 33 prize track. I really wish I did this last year, but I, I kind of just included the prize track as a minor update. But I kind of do wish I, I may have, uh, you know, I wish I kind of did this last year as well. But it doesn't look like we're going to be getting any more tie-ins uh, this year, or next year even. So I figured you may as well uh, just do this for, you know, classic, for the classic sort of award that we used to do for the episode tie-in. So you've always got Pixelated and Afraid, uh, My Octopus and a Teacher, and Marge the Meanie. For best character, we've got Joe, Dr. Hot Dog, Deuce, Sergeant Sausage, uh, Miss Peyton, Cliff, Moby Man, uh, Princess Opal, and we've got Hudson and Danger Dog. Uh, so yeah, that's the selection. Um, obviously, yeah. Uh, for worst character, we've got The General, Burnsome, Mrs. Pennyfeather, 
we've got McGriff the Crime Dog, Paul Flart, the exec- uh, Polystar Executive, Airshot, Sideshow Chicken, Caitlin, and the Donut Mech. For best costume, you have Santa Sideshow Bob, Elf Mo, Soggy the Clown, uh, Fancy Duffman, Big Baby Barney, and Dog Suit Proof Wiggum. For worst costume, you've got Santa Snake, Radioactive Homer, Swimsuit Homer, Swimsuit Brockman, and River to the Will. Oh, sorry, really, Willie the Riveter. Uh, for best NPC, we've got Clip Clop, Cargo Smart Car, Rosa Barks, and Laddie. These are all the NPCs from obviously Christmas to present day. So, um, only four actually were released. Best building, we've got Mount Useful, Dingaling Circus. Bros Circus uh, tent thing. Uh, we've got the Car Wash, Springfield Car Wash, the No Kill Kennel, we've got the Mount Splashmore Slide, Vindicator's Base, Spine Chills, and Mad Doctor Itchy's Castle. For worst building, we've got the Warehouse Hideout, the Withstandinator, the Springfield Pet Fair Stage, Stage 4, the Film Director's Trailer, Luxury Crypt, Fogbury Port, uh, sorry, Pier, and the Leftorium. And then finally, best building skins, aka facades. We've got they're all in this category. So we've got the uh, Christmas Krusty Burger, Snake's House Decorated, Krusty Land Halloween Horror Nights, uh, which is the big this one. We've got the Halloween Headquarters, Toilet Papered Flanders House, the Brown House of Horror, Frady Cat Van Houten House, Scary Blue House, and the Skeletal Skinner House. So yeah, that's it. Go vote. I've gone through all the awards for you. Yeah, like I said, very, very cool. Um, the results will be probably released sometime after the vote's closed. Who knows when they'll actually... Sometimes it takes us, like, you know, a couple days. Sometimes it takes us a week. So I always, I never put a date on it just in case. Uh, but, yeah, stay tuned. Make sure to be in one of the Discord servers, even myself, my own Discord server, uh, LO Arthur's, Tapped Out Lounge, or Bort's, uh, the Bortverse one, Bort's one. Uh, just be on one of those free because that's where you'll get updates. And anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.